Well, it started when the government, the Congress, the 40th Congress in 1862, I think it's 1862, just check on that. I'm sorry, 1868. 1868, uh, they created what is called the 14th Amendment. It was sold to the American people as the end of the slavery for the colored black people. Well, it wasn't black people because it made slavery for everyone. However, once they created the 14th Amendment, now they established the corporate United States, not incorporated yet. Three years later, Washington DC became incorporated which is the United States Corporation. Now, so far, American citizens, they're not realizing what's happening. Everything is normal, normal business. So they just start gradually, they start setting up the stage. Then it became 1913, when the Federal Reserve Act passed, Congress lost the power to print the coin, and we gave it to the international bankers. And the excuse was, we're going to take it out of the politicians' hands, we're going to give it to the experts, Rothschild in the banking business for so many hundreds of years. Okay. Well, when we started borrowing our money, we started paying interest. However, the deal was, we were supposed to pay with gold and silver. They don't want to get it in Federal Reserve notes. 1913 to 1933, there were ships sailing from the West Coast all the way to Europe, full of gold and silver paying interest. By 1933, there was no more gold or silver left. So they had to file a bankruptcy. But who's filing a bankruptcy? The government, Congress. Once the, the, the bankruptcy was filed, then obviously the Federal Reserve wanted a collateral to extend credit. At that time, they created, of course, the IRS. They put all the U.S. citizens in the bankruptcy as a collateral for the national debt. So basically your labor from 18 years old till 65, it's pledged to pay the national debt, which is not even yours. It's the government's debt. And that's why they created the IRS.